Hey everyone, it's White Light here uh, with a brief tutorial on how to install Agario mods for Firefox. Now, a lot of people have been asking how to use Agario mods with Firefox because it's not quite a one click procedure like it is for Chrome, basically. Uh, so, I'll be walking through the steps and outlining the basic features of Agario mods as well as we go along. So, the first thing you need to do is install something called Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey allows you to have custom scripts injected into individual websites, which can enable extra features. Uh, in this case, the Agario mod script uh, would be injected into uh, Agario, and that allows you to have all these extra features. So as you notice, we have this little monkey icon in the top right corner that shows that it's been enabled, so that means we're good to go. So the next step is to go to Agario mods and uh, let's wait for it to load, there we go and you need to set up what's called a connect account and a connect account enables extra features such as um, your own custom skin, you can choose yourself with your own name as well as uh, in the future a chat feature as well which would be very neat and probably some other cool uh, stuff as well, they're constantly working on new updates to bring awesome features to you guys so big shout out to the devs for that What's important with this username is this is the name that would have the corresponding skin. It's the name that'd be used in chat. So you want to make sure that uh, you pick something that you like. So I guess for this example, I'll go with Trippy Gold. Okay. Now, email address they don't actually send any verification I guess it's just so it's a lot easier to process for everyone involved so I'm just gonna use a fake email address and just some random password you don't have to change the time zone but you can if you want to now let's see if I can decipher this captcha There we go. So once you've done that, you're going to return back to the index page and you're going to log in. So to activate your personal skin, you're going to click this link here and you can either upload a uh, file directly or go use a link or whatever from like Imgur or um, you know Google Images or whatever. The important thing is that you want to make it as square as possible and it needs to be uh, within these restrictions here so 512 by 512 and less than 78 kilobytes in size. So I've already found an image that works fine so I'm just going to upload that. So once you click submit, return to the user control panel and there you go. So that is a pretty trippy gold looking image if I do say so myself. So once that image is shown, that means that the skin is ready, it's good to go. So you can just go back to the home page. And you click here to install the script. Okay. So it's just going to wait a moment, and then you can hit install. And that's it. It's done. So it's a little bit of a slightly more involved process. Uh, but otherwise, it's very good. So, to test it out, just go to the Gaio game, and as you can see, we have uh, this nice little uh, announcements page. Okay, we got uh, links to the more skins, the chat, website, help hotkeys. Now, to use the username you just signed up for, to use the custom skin you just added, you take the username that you made and you add a star in front of it. That's it. Now the important thing to note here is that custom skins don't work properly with usernames that have weird characters in them. Um, I think the safest bet is to stick with you know letters of the alphabet, numbers, spaces, 
underscores and dashes should be fine too, but any like colons or you know dollar signs or whatnot, you should probably avoid them just because they can cause issues. Same thing applies with weird alt codes and whatnot. Don't use those for your username. It probably won't work. Now, uh, extra cool features, I'll just go over them really quickly. Uh, so we have uh, colors, viruses, acid mode. Chat is not fully up yet, so don't worry about that. We have charts that are available uh, as well, the benchmarker. Um, you can choose your own custom background and adjust the volume for the sound effects and background music. So I'm going to turn that all the way down, actually, so it's off. There are also 30 different private servers here, uh, two per location. So um, if you want to play with other uh, Agario users, uh, you can come check that out. It's just a simple one click and you're connected. So now that we have our username set up and we're connected to a private server, you can just hit play. Wait for the username to load. There you go. As you can see here, the skin is loaded on my cell and I'm playing on a private server in Paris. So if you guys have any questions at all, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be posting all the links in the description to help you out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop by as well on the Agario IRC channel. We'd be happy to help you out. Ah, oh, I just got eaten. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great day and happy modding.